tell you, you can't make this up. The corruption, corruption on the left has made its way, not made its way. It's been at the teachers union. It's just now being exposed. So back in 2020, if you remember, the leaders of the American Federation of Teachers, they t- toured the country holding all these political rallies in an effort to get a Democrat into office. However, it's been revealed that they tried to hide more than $3 million in political expenditures. Didn't declare it on the, on the IRS forms. They did it all wrong. Kind of tells you all you need to know about the Democratic Party, doesn't it? Well, joining me now to discuss D.C. columnist at The Federalist, Eddie Scary, the Turning Point contributor, uh, Morgan Michael, uh, uh, McMichael. So, Morgan, I'm sitting there thinking, it's like there was somebody once named Lois Lerner that basically hammered conservative and over-scrutinized conservative organizations. Where's that on the left? Isn't it crazy? The double standard is absolutely ridiculous. And I wish I could say I was surprised that these teachers really think they're going to get away with this. But uh, luckily, I'm glad it is coming out into fruition and in the public eye. And we need to continue to expose not only teachers, but other nonprofits that are hiding funding like this, because the double standard is just ridiculous. It really is. Mark Zuckerberg, okay, this guy, uh, Eddie, he tore his ACL training for a, quote, competitive MMA fight next year. Now, Mark, is, this is the perfect dispection of, like, I have too much money and don't know what to do with it. He, he'll be fine, but this might kind of drown out the possibility of an Elon Musk showdown, no? <laughs> Maybe that was his out. I don't know. Um, I know that I, I think that they've been going back and forth on this. I forget. One of them published text messages that they have been going back and forth on who's, who's going to do it and whether they get a practice round and um, whether, you know, that's wasting time. I know that I have absolutely zero interest in it, but I, I know some people do. <laughs> yeah, I, look, I have I have a tor- I have two torn ACLs, so I, I I feel his pain. But you know, he's he's a robot; he doesn't have pain anyway. Uh, all right, so <laughs> well, Morgan, uh, after this, a protester uh, tried to heckle John Fetterman. This is the greatest thing at a rally. He literally responded. John Fetterman, the senator, responded, "Quote." The joke is on you. I had a stroke and can't fully understand what you're doing. All the stuff we've been saying that we've become horrible for. Why is he publishing publicly that he had a stroke? We all know he had a stroke. We all know he's clearly not all there in the head. And, you know, he's the reason why now sweatpants are okay to wear on the floor. I think it's quite ridiculous. I mean, Fetterman shouldn't even be in office in the first place. And now he's just admitting. And honestly, more hecklers should show up to something like Fetterman or even other people. I think it's quite funny and entertaining. Yeah, Eddie, one of the best interviews. Take a listen to what failed Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams, the president of Earth, said yesterday when Jen Psaki, another horrible person, asked her about her criticism of our VP, and rightfully so. Look at this. We cannot ignore that misogyny and racism remain very prevalent in our politics. And for those behaviors that don't rise to either misogyny or racism, there's also just the difference. Our expectations are set for the traditional white male it, not that she's bad at her job. It's that it's everything is istophobic phobophobes. You almost wish it was racism and misogyny. That would make everything so much simpler. Um, and yet, no, it's it's actually scarier than that. She's she's actually just very, very dumb and ill-equipped for the job. She was an, an affirmative action hire by every def- every definition of that concept. Um, and it was the same thing. It's been the same thing over and over since she very first got into that position. You had um, different people in her office, uh, different Democrats on Capitol Hill saying, oh, this is because um, the, the Joe Biden set her up to fail. They didn't give her the right amount of work. They didn't give her they gave her hard stuff to do. OK, well, is it hard or is it too easy or is it racism? Is there <laughs> sexism? Uh, she's just in over her head, and that has been the case since the very beginning. Yeah, she's just not good at her job. That's all. Eddie, Morgan, we got to leave it right there. Appreciate you both being here. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. All right, coming up, some of.